Hey everybody, it's Mike from Landing Custom Classics here with you. And as a lot of you know, if you've seen the money of my videos, I'm quite the angler, so I want to share some of my secrets with you guys and uh, show you how to set up a decent uh, fishing setup. We'll see what we got here. I got these, uh, this box here got busted in my backpack. So I bought these new ones, and they're supposed to have some kind of Z rust infuse, infusion, it's supposed to stop rust on your lures. So, yeah, let's see what we got here. We got these dividers in here, pretty cool things. I only had the one container in my backpack here. This is my uh, ghost horn backpack that uh, my amazing, awesomest sister friend from YouTube, Annabella, bought me. Make sure we know we still got a few things in here hiding out that'll uh, be important to your, your list here. Oh, man, that's where my worm threader went. Imagine that. Yeah, this is a great backpack. It's got some little holsters and stuff on here, pockets, so you can put your fishing rod on the side here. This one's even got a little holster deal that goes around your rod up here to support it better. And boop, 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 hook it on there so you can go hiking and stuff. So this is my uh, go bag. I always carry it with me. But uh, yeah, it goed and went, got broken. So let's check this out here. Hmm. Yeah, some stuff in here that's okay. I'm running out of my hooks. I'm going to tie some, but I'll show you what I'm going to use this time to tie them. Get some of these out of here. I'm not going to put these in right now. I'm just going to kind of go through things. But, yeah, I got two of these. So we get our stuff all packed up. I got an assortment here of different sinkers. I mostly use the these sliding egg type sinkers and I use one ounce sinkers pretty much everywhere. Uh, I do have some gold ones in here to show you. I got to get a, a new thing of them, the brand that I like and there's some uh, orange beads in here also you can use. Three different sizes of sinkers. <clears throat> then these are, uh, uh, these are gold barrel swivels. They got a loop on each end. There is no clip. I don't use the, the swivels with the clip because I catch a lot of monster fish. I'm just talking big, nice ones. And they will stretch out those clips and pop apart. And there goes your monster fish. Here's a worm threader. You never used one of these? My dad swears if you put the head down, the worm or the fish bites at the head and he does better. I don't think a fish knows what end of the worm is the head, but if you want the head on the bottom hanging off, you'd put your head on here first, and then your tail will slide on the line, and then you hang your head off, or you put your tail on here, go on head first. You actually, I'll show you on one of my fishing videos how to do this. You put the hook in the tip here, and you pull your line down and hold it tight, and then you just slide your worm up and it'll go over the hook onto the line somewhat and then you leave however much tail hanging off that you want but that's a that's a good one to have in your box <clears throat> when i'm fishing lakes or very calm parts of the river these golf balls are an amazing trick i like to get bright colored ones this one's yellow my other box i have some orange ones and i drill a tiny little pilot hole in here and these are just little hooks for like your coffee cups, whatever. Come here, Bella. Come up here, come on. You can be part of this video too, my little baby, huh? But yeah, these are uh, go-to. I'm gonna throw that in the the, the bag because it won't fit in your compartments here. I'll go through this, show you some. This is a Maps little spinner. Sometimes these with the orange on them kind of gives it a blood look. This one's got some kind of rainbowy colors on it. Not my favorite, but these work all right. They have a pretty kind of brass body. You got a little red paint in the grooves here. Nice little lure. That one I don't like. I don't know why it's in here. 
I use a lot of these plain old time brass ones. It's got a little red bead on there and a little red piping on here. This is a pretty old one here, I'm sure. Uh, bass lure, I don't know what I'm doing with that. I just throw a little bit of everything in here sometimes. Okay, let's see. This one is an old, old one. It has a little little rubber fish on there. That one I've caught some stuff with. It's got more of a like hexagon instead of a cylinder on it. Here's the, the normal, just regular one ounce egg sinkers. I'm going to get a mold to make these myself. I have a ton of lead. I'm going to get me a smelting pot and some, all that good stuff. Well, we can leave those in there for now until we get our dividers in there. <laughs> These, a lot of people think this is kind of like a little kid's hook puller kind of thing. It's got a slit in there. You get your line in there. You twist it to where this grooves away from the, the point of the hook. And you just shove it down the fish's mouth. Push hard down on the hook. Pull your line tight and just pull it right out. Works great. One of my favorite hook pullers. I picked up some other stuff today. Very important one to have in there, especially with all the West Nile, everything going around. Some off, deep woods off. This stuff, you got to watch out though. If you're wearing like a, a plastic watch band, rubber, or whatever, this will actually can melt it. <laughs> High deep content. Okay. There's some Rapalas and stuff I got that we're going to unwrap. Uh, this one. It is supposed to swim from four to six feet, which in warmer water, that's about where the fish are. This one is just the silver extreme action slash bait. I've used these before, and they're really good. I've done done well with them on the Snake River and uh, some of the lakes, reservoirs around here. This one's a little big. It's got red on the head, silver on the body, a little black down the back, and this red feathers. On here, kind of a little bit of a little rainbow kind of stuff in there, too. That gives a little shine, and the red always makes it look like blood. So, that's good. Okay. This is one of my favorite all-around spinning lures. The Panther Martin, yellow with black spot or red spots, excuse me. And uh, sometimes you can get them with the silver blade. Those work good as well, but this one right here is my favorite. The only place I haven't done really well with these is in the ocean. Salt water, haven't had a lot of luck with them. I got a bunch of those. I got three of them today. And, uh, okay. My chain. I'm big on these chain stringers. They work really well. This one you can hook to your boat hook around a branch, whatever, down close to the water. And then it's got all these other ones. And sometimes I catch so many fish, I got two or three on each hook. I always keep one of those. I took the one out of my backpack to put in my boat. So, got that. And another Panther Martin. <coughs> another Panther Martin. And... This is a, we call it hot mustard muddler. Okay. This is kind of cool. Things kind of vary. Sometimes you like the silver. Sometimes they really go for the red orange belly a lot. And this green and the reds in it work really well. Sometimes they don't. That's why they make so many different colors of lures, because there's different times and different places where different ones work better. And it all depends on the color of the water also. If the water is real dark, you use different stuff. If the water is real clear, you use different stuff. There's a lot to it all. I'll be doing some of uh, my fishing videos, going out hiking some different rivers, streams, things like that. And I'll uh, get you some more info. I'm going to grab my other stuff real quick. I'll put you on pause here. So I thought the lady put all my fish and stuff in one bag, and I was like, man, that's not enough. I got another one of these chain ones for another box. 
Okay. Waterproof cell phone case. I'm going to try this out. So it's even supposed to like be able to use your touch screen underwater. I want to see that because I've dived with a waterproof smartphone before and the screen went nutty. This one is from Ozark Trail. We'll check her out. I have a Samsung S23 Ultra. It looks like it'll just fit in this perch. It's almost like it's built for it. Okay, then we got Vanish. Easy casting. 14 pound. I like a fairly heavy leader. And this stuff's actually fairly thin also. This is a fluorocarbon. So when it hits the water, it turns invisible. Because a lot of your leaders, especially bigger size, the big trophy fish, I swear, they can see the leader. They get smart to it. And they know that there, it's a setup. This fluorocarbon seems to help. You put it in the water. As soon as it touches the water, it's just invisible. And I bought some of these uh, size 2 Eagle Claw bait holder hooks. I'm going to tie my own leaders with that. Might do a video on that. Do some setup of leaders. And then like to say, Bought more one ounce egg sinkers because I love those things. I use them anywhere I fish. Then the important one you don't want to leave out. Pick me up some dude wipes. I've never used these. I usually just throw a roll of toilet paper in there. But I figured what can it hurt to have a nice moist wipe that you can also use to wash your hands if you need to. So I'm going to try those out. I'll let you know how that goes.